Hey Vibes fam, welcome back to my channel where good food and good vibes is a must. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making some luscious sorrel and here are my ingredients that I will be using and I'm just going to show you the back of the package and vibes fam, I'm putting 4 liters of water to boil and I'm just going to pour the sorrel into my colander so that I can just quickly put the colander under the pipe and then move it. So basically it's the quickest rinse that you'll ever see right and you don't have to rinse it by the way so here i have a little bit of water in my nutribullet and i'm adding my ginger i prefer to blend my ginger you don't have to blend yours you can grate it and then add it <laughs> So once it's done, that is it. So set it aside. So vibe some, once my water came to a boil, then I just pour the sorrel in it, right? And I'm just gonna push it down and just leave it for one or two minutes, not for long, right? And turn down the fire really low. And this is it, vibe Sam, after two minutes. So now I turn off the fire and then I'm pouring in my blended ginger. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stir this up. And Vibes Fam, it is already smelling so good because of the ginger. So yeah, Vibes Fam. So what you're going to do now is, of course, cover it again, right? And you can leave it for one or two days. My mom even leave it for three, right? But I actually left it for two, not intentionally. I only wanted to leave it for a day, but it ended up being two days. So here are the rest of my ingredients that I will be using. By the way, I left it on the stove. So if you have to cook there, just move the pot, right? So here it is. This is after two days and it smell amazing. When I tell you it smells so good, like the ginger just kicking, I mean, it smell amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in my um strainer and after this i did pour it in a smaller strainer as well right but i didn't show you guys that didn't want to bore you with that but yeah vibe some so i pour it in my strainer and then um i'm also gonna pour some of the sorrel in there and use my spoon to press it down to get the rest of the juice i mean you can go in with your hands if you want right and squeeze it because i'm telling you nice strong healthy body juice is in that sorrel same way so you want to squeeze it i mean look at rich look at rich tell me sir this is not generational wealth of sorrel passing down i mean <laughs> it looks so rich not like a simple rich like rich rich so yeah you want to go ahead and squeeze it right take the spoon and press it down as i said you can use your hand but i prefer to use my little spoon right and then i'm gonna go ahead and pour that trash into um my little glass bowl and here i'm just gonna show you the sorrel well i'm gonna do it again right but i'm gonna do this until the whole thing is is done but i'm not gonna show you all of that right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you the close-up because vibe some once you boil the the dry sorrel right look at look at it come back it come right back to being that nice lush like how it look when it's um when it green would you say green when it's fresh fresh is the word that i'm looking for right so when you boil it it come right back look at richness so so good so yeah vibe some go ahead and get out all that juice i mean squeeze it until everything come out right and then that is gonna be us right all done with the squeeze and a squeeze and a squeeze and another squeeze e e e e e e's and a uh, and a uh, and a uh, uh. yeah so once <laughs> So once you get out all the niceness, then I run this through my strainer. Again, my small strainer, tiny one. But vibe some here it is after I did all of it. So yeah, and I threw that out. So now I'm adding my sugar. Add your desired amount. Use pref preferably use brown sugar, right? And here I'm adding some rum, some white rum. We are not big drinkers, so we don't 
add a lot of these things to our soil and i added some wine and then you want to give it a mix 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 and then make sure you taste it because you want to see if you're getting the taste that you like by the way the only reason why i didn't dissolve my sugar is because this was um a soft dark sugar it wasn't the the thick grain the big you know clump of dark sugar it was a light soft brown soft dark brown sugar so that's the only reason right and i didn't want to dilute my sorrel of course so it needed some more rum and of course that mean it needed some more red label wine did i say it's red label wine you guys saw it anyway so yeah I tasted it and i added some more red label wine again and yeah just go ahead and and stir that up but vibe some it's a lot of tasting like just make sure you taste it to get your desired taste and if you if it need more ginger then just add some more ginger if it need more rum and wine then add it and vibes fam here we have it here we have it a nice i mean oh oh my goodness when i tell you that this glass or this jug of sorrel is everything come through strong body strong nice i mean trapped in we would say <laughs> but look at the poration look at it pour pour look at it looking so good Ooh, can you tell it's delicious yes it is and look at it vibes fam a nice glass of sorrel so refreshing it's not too sweet it's just all the uh, 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 all the good stuff mm -hmm. that makes your holiday extra holiday extra goody yes it sure does so vibe some you need to try this recipe right so look at it look at beautification so i'm gonna show you how i store my sorrel right because it's still early it's not christmas as yet so here i have one of my two liter water bottle and i i added some pimento seed yes vibe some use pimento seed or some rice grain it helps to preserve your yes, sorry it, it really helps to keep it and can i tell you vibes some i mean D don't worry about it like pimento yes use the pimento or use some rice grain and put it in the bottom of the bottle and then or of course put it in the bottle it's gonna go to the bottom right <laughs> and then you pour the sorry in it and vibe some this is it and you store your sorrel i still have sorrel from last year yes in the freezer and trust me when i take it out and defrost it mm, 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 so good so yeah vibe some this is it but thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and go follow me on instagram and on facebook god bless you thank you